Ooh, oh my goodness. Two possibilities of straight flushes. Let's go. Queen of Heart. I am back at Dania Beach Casino trying to redeem myself in three card poker. The buy-in for the session is $500. Let's get it. I will be betting $25 on the ante, $10 on the pair plus, and $5 on the six card bonus. In our first hand, we have an eight of hearts, queen of diamonds, and that's all I want to see. I don't want to see any more. And we are already a winner because the dealer does not qualify and we don't have a pair. So we're only gonna win the $25 on the ante, but the first hand is a win. Now I am going to play this session half blind, so every blue deck, I'm going to play it blind. I'm not gonna look at the cards, and I'm just gonna play it blind. Let's see what the dealer has. The dealer does not qualify. Dealer has jack high. They're gonna push to play. We're already a winner, and we have king high. So first hand blind goes to us. All right, eight of diamonds, four of clubs. We need an eight or a four. Okay, ace high. We'll play ace high every day. And let's see what you got, dealer. Dealer has queen high, so this is perfect. This is best case scenario. When the dealer does qualify, they pay us on the ante and on the play when we win. Again, we're going on the blind hand. We're playing absolutely blind on the blue deck. And the dealer does qualify with queen 10, so we do have to beat the dealer. And we don't. Five, six of spades. We were one card from a straight flush. No bueno. They don't pay us for almost getting a straight flush. Three of clubs. Five of spades. We need a squeeze and a four. I like to make space for the four. And it didn't happen. So I'm going to fold it. Let's see if it was a good fold. Because in this game here, you actually don't need to hit to beat the dealer. And nope. Dealer did qualify. So it was a good fold. All right, back to the blind hand. The dealer has a six high, so this is perfect. They do not qualify. We're free rolling. And again, we're, we're not hitting pairs, but we're winning, so we'll take it. Every win is going to stack up our chips, even if it's little by little. Nine of spades, K9. Okay, K9. I love that. K9. We're going to play King 9. And the dealer has a nine, so hopefully we have another nine. Let's go, dealer. Find another nine in the back. And no, okay, but we still get paid on the ante. We're not getting paid on the pair plus and the six card bonus, but we are making a little bit of money. Now this is the blue deck and I accidentally looked at the card, but you know what guys, with that little swish of the hand, it never happened. I am gonna play it blind. We'll pretend we never saw anything and we have to beat a pair of sixes. Oh my goodness, there's a three there. Oh, okay, we need a king. Another king would be great. Dealer, find that king. And no, no good. All right, so at least we got a pair of three. So the dealer did not just take away all of our chips. We're going to get $10. But I mean, let's be honest, we lost the majority of the money. But at least we got a little bit of compensation. And that's always good. Jack of spades. Ooh, queen of hearts. And I definitely don't need to see much to let the dealer do the last flipping for me. The dealer has a pair of seven. So we need a jack, queen, king, 10. And we get absolutely nothing, a six. No bueno, dealer. No good. All right, we're back to the blind hand. Let's see what you got, dealer. Yep, I, it's, it's, it'd be easier if I guess I was live streaming. You guys would remind me. All right, so we do have to beat an ace high. Dealer does qualify, so nice. The ace got beat by the deuces. So we finally hit a pair, and it came in a great time because the dealer had an ace, so we needed to hit. Deuce of hearts, jack of diamonds, and okay, so queen high. We're playing queen jack. Let's see what you got, dealer. And the dealers got the k9s this time, but this time they got the pair nine, so no good for us. We're going to have to make an adjustment soon. All right, let's see if this blind hand it works out to be a little bit better. And the dealer does not qualify, so we are free rolling. And wow, okay, so we got a lot of good cards there. We we're one card away from a straight, one card away from a flush. And my goodness, we're just one card away from having a great hand. Ooh, ace of clubs, say less, let's go. And the dealer has a pair of four, so we do need to hit something. Oh, ace deuce, we need a three, and no. So we had a lot of potential, but we didn't hit anything. Now, three-card poker is a game that I normally play for fun, but I don't really have an optimized betting strategy for the game. So if you have suggestions, please write them down in the chat. I need some help. 
All right, I decided to go two-handed. I'm going to play the first position by looking at it and the second position blind. So we're still half blind. Dealer, find another club so we can have a flush on the first position. I did drop the bet as well. And perfect. We are free rolling. Dealer is not going to play. Let's see what we got on the second position, on the blind position. Okay, so we have a pair of five. So we hit a pair plus and we get paid on the ante as well. We do need a club or a four for a six card bonus. And no, we just get a deuce. So there we just get paid on the ante. Eight of diamonds, jack of spades. We need a jack. Okay, so jack, 10, eight. So since I saw these cards, I'm not gonna play it. I'm gonna let it go. Even though potentially if you played it blind, it wouldn't really make a difference because it's all dependent on if the dealer qualifies. And the dealer, did they qualify ever? They do have a straight, so it was a good fold. And we need a miracle in this hand. And oh, if that would have been an eight instead of a three, we would have hit the six card and we would have beat the dealer with a straight as well. But it wasn't meant to be. We just lost on both hands. We doubled up on the losses. All right, all right, we're trying it again. Nine of spades. Ooh, dealer, dealer, let's go. I'm gonna squeeze it in. Oh, I was trying to squeeze it in, but we do have a flush, which is great. Let's go, dealer. Ooh, they're all black, which is amazing. Let's go. Two spades back there. Two spades. Let's go. What do we got there? Ooh, what? six of spades. We need that four to be a spade. Yes. Oh, we got a five card flush bonus. That is amazing. That is great. And the dealer does not qualify, so they're going to push back the play on both of them. Let's give us something good on that second hand. And whoa, wow, we were close to two flushes. But we do get paid on the ante and here we do have a flush and we have a six card bonus as well. Now definitely know your payouts. I don't know the payouts too well on three card poker so I have to remind myself. But on a flush we get paid three to one. And on the six card bonus the flush pays 15 to one. But definitely learn the games because that is extremely important. Nine of diamonds, four of diamonds. Oh, we need one more diamond. Dealer, should I play this? Yes or no? And the dealer says, nope, and I'm going to get rid of it. All right, all right. Sometimes I like to have the dealer keep me in suspense. And I told the dealer, if I do have a monster, you have to keep your poker face. Don't give out any information. Dealer does not qualify. So they are going to push back the play. And... I'm going to get paid because the dealer doesn't qualify. So we just get paid on the ante. And on the first hand, I did not even get anything. No six card bonus either. All right, so we keep it going and we have an eight of hearts, seven of hearts. Okay, here we go, dealer. Let me know. Keep your poker face. Dealer says play it. So we're going to play it. And now we're hoping that we got either the six or the nine of hearts so we can complete a straight flush. Okay, okay, they're still in play. The cards are still in play. The dealer doesn't qualify. We're gonna win both hands, but how good is the win gonna be? That's up to you, dealer. Let's go, six of hearts, nine of hearts. Oh, you just missed us. Wow, we have a flush, which is amazing. We do get a, a flush, which again pays three to one on the pair plus. But if that would have been a straight flush, we would have been rolling on a 40 to one on the pair plus and an extra five to one on the anti bonus. All right, dealer, it's still time to get a straight flush. We're not going anywhere anytime soon. Ooh, ace of spades, yes, let's go. We're going to play. I would love three card poker so much more if we had the option of two axing, three axing, or four axing that play. That would be amazing based on the amount of cards you see. And wow, look at that again, dealer. You were one card away from a straight flush. You can be a hero this session if you find a straight flush. Let's go. All right, so we got an ace of spades. Oh, deuce. Oh, nice. One, two, three. Unsuited all around, but we'll definitely take it. Now, in this game here, a straight actually plays more than a flush. The straight pays six to one on the pair plus, and you get an extra bonus on the ante. That's one to one. All right, we are rolling now. Let's go. Let's keep it going. We did pick up our bets. We have, ooh, eight, seven. And again, dealer, one time, you have a chance to find another straight flush. Dealer says to play it. I hope your poker face is good and that we have a straight flush. And the dealer has, oh, dealer has one of our outs, a nine of hearts. That's no good. Ooh, oh my goodness. Two possibilities of straight flushes. Let's go. 
Queen of Hearts. It looks like a, it has a curve to it. It has a curve. Oh, it's a nine. Yes, and you have the nine of hearts, dealer. So you got the nine of diamonds there. No good. We lose the hand. We had so much potential there. And let's see. Throw that nine of hearts my way real quick, dealer. Let's exchange cards. And oh, okay, okay. We got a four of hearts. We can't be complaining because we were running, running slim to winning this hand. We had to hit the flush and we did. Again, we're going to get paid three to one on the pair plus. And we're getting paid on the ante and the play because the dealer did qualify. So the hand turned out to be pretty good and exciting. All right, 10 of diamonds. Ooh, 10 of clubs. We need one more 10. Let's go. I'm going to slide it in the back there. Dealer, you do the rest. We want to have trips. Let's get our first trips in three card poker. And the dealer does not qualify. So we're ready free rolling on both hands. Let's go. What we got? Oh, there's one of our 10s. But you know what? There's still a fourth 10 out there. If I would have played one-handed on this hand, I would have hit trips on the six-card bonus. But we do still win on the second hand. Let's go find that fourth 10. There's still one more 10 out there. And oh, no. It's a king. It's a king. But we did get a pair on the pair plus, And we get paid on the ante. So the good thing is, is that we're getting great potential hands. We're just not completing it. But we're having a good time here at Daniel Beach Casino. The dealers are great. Seven of spades. Ooh, seven, seven. Let's go. Let's find the last seven dealer. This time, complete it. Let's get trips. All right. And the dealer has a six. And ace. Okay, so they do qualify. We're already winning on the first position guaranteed, but we need to find another seven. And on the second position, we have a queen. We need an ace or a queen or a three. And no, again, we missed a straight flush there by one card. But let's go, dealer. Find the last seven. There's still two sevens in the deck. And no, so we got two pairs on the six card bonus, but unfortunately, they don't pay two, two pairs. You have to start at trips. We are going to get paid on the pair plus the ante and the play. So it's kind of like we broke even from both hands. No discounts, dealer. I do have 15 on each position. Thank you. We are playing blind on the second position still. This session is going to be called half blind. Oh, we need to squeeze a queen. Let's go, dealer. Find that queen. Doesn't matter what queen it is because they're not. we don't have it suited. So just find a queen. And the dealer has one of our outs, but there's still three queens out there. Dealer does qualify. We do have to beat the dealer on the second position. We already won on the first. And, oh, we need to squeeze a three. Three, king, or ace. Three, king. Oh, okay, a four works as well. Oh, and nice. We finally broke the six-card bonus seal on the second position. We have trips. Trips do pay seven to one on the six-card bonus. We do get paid the pair, the ante, and on the play. So this is a hand that we pretty much got paid all around. On the first position, we cannot get paid on the six card bonus unless we have a jack. Let's get that jack in there. And no, we got a deuce. I love you, deuce, but I didn't need you at this time. We needed a jack. A queen would have been great too for the pair plus for the six to one. All right, all right. For those of you guys watching, I am considering just doing my sessions live from now on or without the editing. Let me know what you guys think about that. Or do you still want the editing? Oh, nice. Deuce Ace. We need to find that three dealer. Let's get us another straight. We matched up to 25. Let's see what you got. All right, and... Perfect. Dealer does not qualify, so we're guaranteed to free roll this, this hand. All right. We, oh, 7 10. We need an 8. And no. So we just missed out on the 6 card bonus. But perfect. We didn't qualify. If, if we would have seen that hand, we would have folded it. And that's why I like playing this game sometimes blind as well, because that's a hand that we won that we would have lost. And the fives, no good, no good. So we just win on the ante on both hands. Nothing spectacular. Seven of spades. 
Nine of clubs. All right. Make space for the eight. Ooh, okay, but we got a pair of nines. Now we need you, dealer, to have the other two nines with the lower kicker so we can get some quads. And perfect. Dealer does qualify. We win on the first hand. But we need to beat King High on the second hand. So we got a nine. Nine of diamonds. Eight. Okay. Seven or a ten. Seven or a ten. Seven, eight, nine, or ten. We got a lot of outs and just missed us with the six of diamonds. You know what, dealer? If you leave it like that, it looks like we have an eight and we potentially could have won that hand. I'm just kidding. We don't want to get in trouble here. But we at least won the first hand and that's great. We got a pair and the pair beats the king high. So again, this is almost like another push because we win on the first hand, but we lose on the second. We are trying to redeem ourselves from the first time that we played three card poker. Six of spades. Ooh, ace of spades. And let's go dealer, find the last spade. Make it a good one. Oh no, dealer, I said make it a good one, but not for you. You gave us, we can't win on the first position, we know that. We need a miracle to win on the second position because to beat a straight is very difficult, it could be done. We have an eight, nope, it can't be done, not for us. It can't be done, and okay, so we got a pair of eight. So that's a strong hand. Any pair in this game is a strong hand. It's just unfortunate that we're going up against a straight. And let's go, at least dealer, give us a, a flush. A flush doesn't beat a straight in this game, but at least we could get some compensation. And, oh no, dealer, you gave us bullets. Now this is a bad beat on both sides because we have a pair of aces and we had a pair of eights. Those are two strong hands that usually hold up. Big shout out to the dealers for making this an enjoyable experience. I love the way that they fan out the cards. Ace of spades, let's go, let's get back in business. All right, dealer, give us some good hands now, but this time our way, not your way. All right, we got, oh, dealer, don't do it. Don't do anything crazy. What are you doing? Yeah, dealer, don't do it. Don't do it. And, oh, my goodness, I love, oh, thank, Whew. All right, so we're winning on the first position. I thought for sure we were a goner. Hopefully, we could have runner run on the first position and get the big one, the royal flush. We need some help. 875 is not going to cut it, so the second position is no good. But you know what? We got it in the first. That's where we need it. We need it in the first position, dealer. Oh, we got a break. All right, another three. This Oh, ace, two, three. One, two, three. Nice. That's awesome. We got a straight. I was hoping for a three to get the six-card bonus, but you know what? We'll take the straight, and we get paid on the ante, the play, and we get the pair plus. Again, we're going to get 6 to 1 on the pair plus, and we get an extra bet on the bonus. It would be better, dealer, if you could allow us to win the second position as well. No discounts, dealer. We do need that extra bet on the ante. Thank you so much. We're going to make sure that you guys pay your dues. All right, we got a six of clubs. 10 of hearts, not a great combination. Okay, jack 10, six. Nope, not gonna play it. Since I saw it, I can't do it. Gonna let that one go. And the dealer has a nine, seven, five. Give me back my money, dealer. I wanna play it now after seeing your cards. All right, so dealer doesn't qualify. King, six, queen. Okay, so no pair. So we just get paid on the ante. So hands like this make me wonder, should I just play the entirety of the game blind? Or even if I see the card, should I just play the hand? Let me know because I am trying to figure out what the best strategy for this game is. King high it is, king five. All right, and the dealer has us beat in the first hand because they have a king jack. So we need to beat king jack. We have a deuce, a queen. We need a king, ace, queen, deuce. And let's go, dealer. Squeeze it out of there. Squeeze it out. And we have a 10. Okay, so we at least you spared us. I do see 9, 10, jack, queen, king. So we do hit on the six-card bonus. We'll take that all day. 
and the five card straight pays 10 to one so there's 50 bucks it could have been a lot worse i know the dealer's trying to find a way to pay me on the pair plus but dealer i don't have a straight i only have a straight with your cards so there's nothing we can do there we lost everywhere else but we did win the 50 bucks and i am very grateful that we at least got a little bit of compensation and on the first hand you just destroyed us so take everything away like you're a vacuum cleaner just vacuum up our chips but you know what dealer we're going to win today we're trying to get revenge so we're not worried we did pick up the bet again jack of clubs five of clubs we need one more club oh and now i'm getting now i'm getting aggressive i want the dealer to flip it let's see if you can finish it off dealer and the dealer is already beating us with the queen 10 so we do need some help on the first position but the dealer's gonna make it happen oh oh hold on three five squeeze in that four of spades one time oh wow okay okay awesome you gave us a straight but wow if that would have been the four of spades it would have been amazing but we definitely won on the second hand now let's see if you can do a two-hand special dealer make sure we also win on the first hand we do get paid that extra bet on the ante and we're going to get 60 dollars for the pair plus bonus let's go find a club make it a double header and yep rub it nice and let's go oh no there's that deuce again deuces i love you but you're coming in on the wrong time you're not coming in on cue all right but we're getting close we're getting close to monster hands we've had a lot of close straight flush opportunities we have a four of diamonds seven of clubs we need some help and oh again you see we missed a straight flush again by one card we're gonna let that one go the good thing about those cards is that there's a good potential to get a straight with them so let's see if we can get a straight Give us a six card bonus on the second, on the first hand. And we have, okay, so king high. We do have to beat a king high. Ooh, Jack, hold on. Again, another straight flush opportunity. Finish it, dealer. Tap it in, tap it in, tap it in. Let's go. Oh, no, a four. Oh, my goodness. So many possible straight flush hands. I'm starting to like this game just on the fact that I get so excited every time I'm, I almost get one of these monster hands. Let's be real. Three card poker is pretty exciting. Three of spades, ace of clubs. Let's go squeeze in a deuce. Put it right in the middle, right where it belongs. And again, the dealer does an amazing job. No, whoa, whoa, hold on, dealer. Slow it down. I just said you do an amazing job. Okay, okay. This is beatable. For a second there, I got scared. Okay, so we beat you. We need a 10, a 10 ace or queen so we could get paid on the pair. Okay, so we got a pair plus. We got paid on a pair plus, ante, and on the play. And we're going to win a double header finally. We do also win on the first position let's see squeeze in a deuce squeeze in a deuce where's that deuce here's your timing deuce and no you just missed your cue when we need the deuce the deuce is nowhere to be found but i still love my deuces because the deuces never loses all right four of diamonds oh five of diamonds my goodness and again i'm gonna get aggressive i'm going to let the dealer flip it I'm putting it on the three of diamonds slot because I think if I'm going to get it, it's going to be the three of diamonds. Let's see if I am right. And the dealer has a nine of spades, five of spades. Okay, so king high. This is beatable. We could, we could beat both hands. I have a good feeling about this hand. And we have a jack of clubs, deuce. Okay, so yes, we won on the second hand with the king jack. That's perfect. We win $50 on the back. Lose on the bonus but this is the hand right here dealer let's go three of diamonds three of diamonds three of diamonds and no no i was completely wrong what was i thinking you just think that after so many potential straight flushes you're gonna get one you're you're due right i feel like i'm due a long time ago jack of clubs oh my goodness again you can't even make this up we're due ten of clubs it has to come this time there's just if you do the probability and how many times you have two to the straight flush, we're due this time. All right, dealer has an eight of diamonds. 
Okay, they're we're free rolling. They don't qualify. Eight high. All right, we are due on the first position. Let's go. All right, let's see what we got on the second position. Six of spades, three of spades. Okay, we, we need a, another spade for a flush. And no, we didn't get anything. We are going to get paid on the ante. But the, the first position hand, that's the one that we want. We want the ten of clubs. Find a dealer. Let's go. Sprinkle a little bit of luck in there. Ten of clubs. One time. One time, dealer. And no, a three. All right, all right. But I'm, I'm going to be honest. I am enjoying this session very much. We've had a lot of potential. A lot of good monster hands. But we just can't finish the deal. Four of clubs, ace of diamonds. We're going to play ace high. Let's see, let's see. Let's see if we can win two hands and start bringing some momentum our way. So, yeah, so we already won on the first position for sure. Jack of hearts. Nine, four. Okay, so no good on the second position. We missed the flush and we missed the six card straight as well. So, no good. All right, uh, best case scenario is just a pair. Okay, ace, king, four. So we win the $50. Five of clubs, eight of diamonds. Ooh, nice. We got a pair of eights. Great. So we're going to play this for sure. Let's see what we got, dealer. Okay, dealer has a pair, a queen high. This is beatable. Come on. We could beat a queen high. This is bare minimum. All right, we already got a queen. We're not going to lose to a five. Let's see what we got, dealer. Okay, queen six. Ooh, again, you see, we're, we're getting close. The straight flush cards are so close. We got a king, queen of hearts, and we just missed on the third one. And on the first position, we also get paid on the pair plus. I don't think I've ever played this game where I've had so many opportunities for a straight flush. Three of diamonds, ten of diamonds. We need another diamond. Ooh, okay, but we'll take a ten. That's nice. We got a pair of ten. Strong hand. Strong hand every day. And the dealer's got king, eight, nine. So, okay, so we're winning on the first position. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we have an eight. Oh, hold on. One more eight. We already got trips. We need an eight, nine, or king. Eight, nine, or king. Find that eight. Last eight. Let's go. Squeeze it in, squeeze it in. Oh no, look at this, look at this. We need to do a three-way switch. We need to throw the 10 to the right, the three up, and the eight down. If we do that triangular switch, I get two trip hands, and that would have been amazing. That would have been also a nice dream, but at least the cards were in play. Dealer, I did get a six card bonus. I finally hit trips there, so don't shortchange us. We get the extra $35 on top. We do have a pair on the, on the first hand, so we get paid on the pair plus, the ante and on the play. But the awesome part about this hand is that all the cards were in place. They were just in the wrong position. Ooh, king of clubs. That's all I gotta see. Let's go. Surprise us, dealer, surprise us. All right, 10, 5, 4, perfect. Dealer does not qualify. I mean, when you want to maximize your money, you want the dealer to qualify, but you need to beat the dealer. Ooh, spade it out. No, 2, 3, 4, 5, nope. So we missed the six card bonus. We missed the flush, but we are getting paid on the ante. All right, let's go. Some kings, find some kings. Or, okay, so he wanted me to flip a card. I flipped a six of hearts. He flipped a three of hearts. Three, four, five, six. So we missed the six card bonus as well. Didn't matter whether he flipped it or I flipped it. It just wasn't meant to be. Couldn't improve the hand. All right. Five of hearts. Eight of clubs. Ooh, eight. Again, we've gotten eights a couple times this session. Let's go. Find two more eights, dealer. Let's see what you got. Ace of spades. Okay, ace, king, ten. So this is a strong hand. We need a pair in the second position to win so we could have a clean sweep. Let's go, dealer. Find some deuces. You know, where are the deuces when we need them? Five, four, okay, three or six, three or six. 
ace four five so nope we were close but no cigar like they say but at least we won we split again we win one we lose one and that's how this session has been it's been back and forth and nobody has really been able to take the advantage we are going to end the session there make sure you guys always tip the dealers because they do an amazing job and in this session we are going to cash out 625 dollars a profit of 125 dollars let's go over the session stats in this session i saw 33 hands i won 21 and lost 12 of those hands i got 12 pair plus bonuses and one six card bonus on the blind hands i saw 32 hands i won 19 hands and lost 13. I got seven pair bonuses on the blind hands and two six card bonuses. There didn't seem to be any difference in the stats between playing blind or playing while looking at the cards. Let me know what you think about the half blind session in the comments and if you enjoyed it. Smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on the next session. Thank you.